we often refuse to accept an idea merely because the tone of voice in which it has been expressed is unsympathetic to us. This is Psychotic Gaming. This is episode numero quattro of Tips for YouTube Success. And that right there was a quote having to do with your power of your voice and the tone of it and everything. And that is by a German classical scholar, philosopher, and critic of the culture around the era of 1844 to 1900. And his name is Friedrich Nietzsche, something like that. It's German. I can't really understand it too much, his name. But uh, anyways, this is episode four of tips for YouTube success, a uh, little bit of team deathmatch on Mirage, I do pretty decent, I think like 24 and 11, I get some pretty good shots in here, but my voice sounds different because I am sick, but I did not want that to stop me from uploading a video, I w got back on my grind, and then I kind of quit for a week, that is because I've been sick as a dog for a week straight, and uh, I'm getting a little bit better, but not totally all the way better yet. But anyways, this has to do with the power of your voice and how it affects your commentaries. And this is for YouTubers that want to do commentaries or reviews or anything like that. Okay. Now, when I started off my very, 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 very first uh, commentary, YouTube refreshments uh, done with my, I'm pretty sure it was my crappy mic. I might have used my Turtle Beaches for that, but I'm not too sure. My voice was just monotone. I didn't know what to say. I... I messed up with the volume of the gameplay to where you couldn't hear me over the explosions. Um, and then after that, I got a little bit of better speaking voice for YouTube. Um, <clears throat> a lot better than my shot right here. I don't, yep, I got him. But, uh, you know, it was my mic that was really holding me back. I feel a lot of people said, you know, yeah, you have good commentaries, you have good voice, but your mic is just shit. And I knew that. It's some cheap little $20 mic. I just went, I rushed into getting a mic. I should have saved up and got like a blue or something better or should have been smart and used my Turtle Beaches like I'm doing now. But the way the mic is, it's plugs in via USB cable. Any little tap on the cord would rattle so loud, like louder than my voice. And I just didn't understand why that was. But I said, you know what, screw it. I'm not using it anymore. I'm going to use my Turtle Beaches because they sound 10 times better. A uh, hundred times better, you know. They were just poop, you know. They sucked. But uh, anyways, uh, one of my tips it, for your voice is your tone. Uh, you know, I've seen so many small YouTubers that do commentaries that don't get big because it's you know, hey, this is X X X Gamer 420 X X. A uh, little bit of Black Ops 2. Gameplay, I don't know what it is. That was a good shot right there. Uh, yeah. You know, you don't want to do that. You, This is, you know, commentary, gameplay, intense stuff, uh, invigorating stuff, uh, informative stuff. You want to sell that video based off of your voice. You want to be that salesman that can talk you into buying a jelly bean that will make you lose 100 pounds and live 100 years longer with your voice. Um, you know, that's either going to lull them to sleep, or they're going to look at the suggested videos, or they're going to hit back and go back to their search results, or however they found you, because you're putting them to sleep, and, you know, you better have some, if you want people to stay, you better have some 500 kills and no death gameplay, because that's not entertaining, you know, and another thing is, like, the flow of your commentary. You don't want a bunch of unexpected stops, a bunch of uhs, uhs, uhs. I do do that a lot. And that is because when I speak extremely fast, I kind of get overexcited and I'm partially dyslexic. I'll mess up words like I think one of the worst ones I still remember to this day that I keep saying happened when I was like 16, maybe 17 and I'm 22 right now. I was trying, I was over at my friend's house trying to say, let's go get some peanut butter cookies and milk. And it came out beat it, putter, monkeys and kilk. That's how bad it is sometimes. But you know, I don't want to speak too fast. So I would like to stay fluid. It still keep a little bit of speed, that way I don't, like, lose anybody's interest or anything. And, um, let's see, what else was I going to talk about? I'm sorry, I totally drew a blank there because I was thinking about that crazy instance when that happened and how much me or him could not stop laughing. Uh, let's see, let me open this file real quick. I got it saved. Uh, la, 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 la. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay, your software. Uh, there are, I don't know... For sure, the software I'm using right now just records my voice. Doesn't really do anything else. It's, I feel that it's fine. I don't need some epic movie singing, courtroom Martin Luther King voice. Um, but you know, if you maybe have something about your voice that you want to change the pitch, 
or the clarity or something like that I'm sure there's some editing tools in different editing softwares like I know a lot of people use audacity maybe there's something in Sony Vegas to kind of crisp your voice or kind of isolate it away from other noise um, you know that could be some people's problems maybe they're using like uh, Microsoft uh, Windows Movie Maker maybe the recording quality isn't that great in there but uh, like I said what you gotta have a good mic I'm sorry I keep sniffling but you gotta have a good mic that'll help you a lot if you notice uh, your voice isn't that good with it and you're not getting that many views or you're watching or you're looking at your an analytics and you notice that a lot of people are leaving your videos pretty early uh, like kinda thinking maybe if you have an intro say you have a 15 second intro and then it goes right into the gameplay right into you talking and say a lot average people are only watching 20 seconds that could be why but another thing is is like it's not a good idea to record when you're sick I'm sick I'm getting better though so that's the only reason why I'm doing it now I wanted to get this video done because I'm gonna be working for the next two days so I won't be able to but you know if you're sick your voice is gonna sound that great you're gonna be all stuffy and like if I were to do this video five days earlier I kinda would have sounded like this uh, I kinda would have been stuffed up but that talking is good and uh, yeah but you know there's some people that sound like that when they're not trying that hard Another tip I have, I found out when my commentaries were kind of boring, um, when I did them when I was tired, or I wasn't motivated, or I wasn't in the mood, but I forced myself to do it, you could tell. You know, it's just like forcing somebody to draw you a portrait that doesn't feel like drawing a portrait right now, or something like that, or forcing somebody, like a tattoo artist who's sick, or, you know, going through a divorce to do a back piece on you. It's not going to turn out that great, and you're going to be able to tell it was forced. Um... You know, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, you know, settings is a good thing. Like, my very, very first video, like I said, the explosions were just overpowering my voice. And, you know, you really want to work on getting... Because even for a few videos after that, I was noticing people saying, you know, your, your game audio is way too high. So I kept messing with it. I didn't want it down so loud to where you couldn't hear what was going on. But I didn't want it to overpower my voice. And I've just recently started adding music into my videos. And I've been messing around like with that. People, please let me know if that's too overpowering. I can lower it if enough people think that I should totally get rid of it, then I will. But, you know, I kind of like it. It kind of spiced up my videos, kind of added a little bit to that epicness. Like this one kind of had a nice little, uh, nice little, uh, what do you call it? Slow, kind of steady tempo for when I was doing the quote. But, uh, you know kind of just adding more to my videos I don't really like and I don't have an intro I had one it was 30 seconds long and I noticed a lot of people started leaving before the intro was even over and then I had another one that was like eight eight seconds and I did it with Adobe After Effects and it turned out to be like a 1.5 gig eight second clip and it was just taking my videos way too long to render so I was like you know what I'm gonna go bare bones you know no intro I don't really feel like I need it uh, and I don't really have the knowledge or the software to make a good intro so yeah but a uh, link or that quote will be in the description and a link to it there's a lot of cool quotes there especially by the same guy um, anyways let me know if you guys enjoyed this video let me know if it helped anybody I'm kinda running low on ideas for these tips for YouTube success videos so any feedback or ideas on what I should do in the future like I think I kinda have an idea for my next video and maybe the one after that but after that I might come up with something by then. I hope I do. But uh, anyways, if anybody has an idea or something they want to see or a question they want to answer, uh, shoot me a comment, shoot me a tweet, uh, inbox me, and Psychotic Gaming signing out.